Hello everybody and welcome to DIY Crafts with Jamaroo Kids. I'm Teacher Jamaica and today we are going to be making smooth play-doh. This is a really easy recipe and it's a great way to help your students or your children at home work on their fine motor development. So we are going to need a mixing bowl, um, a spatula or spoon, and some cornstarch and some conditioner and any kind of conditioner can work. Now the recipe um, that we're gonna include um, with you below to download um, that you can find on Teachers Pay Teachers, it calls for two cups of cornstarch and one cup of conditioner. But I'm actually gonna cut that recipe into fourths. So we're gonna be doing a half a cup of cornstarch, which I already have measured out here and a fourth a cup of conditioner. So again, you can um, double the recipe or you can cut it in half or in fourths depending on um, how much Play-Doh you wanna make and then also depending on how much supplies you have. I'm running a little low on conditioner so that's why I decided to cut the recipe into fourths. So I am just get, basically gonna mix this with a spatula. But if I was doing this um, at home with, with my nieces or nephews or in the classroom with my students, I would actually um, have them do this part because even the process of mixing with a spoon is really great for um, a child's fine motor development. They are having to grasp the spoon. They're working on their eye-hand coordination, their spatial awareness by trying to keep the, um, the ingredients in the bowl. And then they're also making observations about what's happening. It's a great way to bring in some language development to talk about what it looks like, what the texture is like, put your hands in there and you can feel it. Um, once you start to see that the dough is coming together, you can then remove your spatula or spoon, scrape it off with your hands, whoops, and you can really start to get in there and mix it with your hands and your fingers. So um, this is just a great fun activity. You can make your Play-Doh different colors by adding food coloring. You can also add glitter if you want. And if you feel like your Play-Doh is a little bit dry, you can go ahead and add a teeny bit more conditioner or if it's too wet, you can add a little bit more um, of the cornstarch. So again, this is the smooth Play-Doh recipe. And um, once you have it all made, you can go ahead and put it in a um, nice sealed container or in a Ziploc bag so it will last a couple days. Um, and you can revisit that and play with it. Um, rolling pins, cookie cutters, um, so many fun things you can do. You can um, put it out on your countertop and you can um, get out your dinosaurs or any of your figurines and have them make prints in it. You can take leaves and do leaf prints. You can do so much fun stuff with um, Play-Doh. So again, we are gonna include this great two-page handout on Teachers Pay Teachers, and we'll have that for you. You can download it for free. It has the description and the benefits of the activity. It has the preparation time, a list of materials, step-by-step um, -step instructions, and there's actually two different um, ingredients two different recipes um, in this handout. One is for the smooth Play-Doh and the other one is for what we call moon dough. So I hope you'll have fun doing this craft project with your little ones at home or with your students in the classroom. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.